Hello everyone, welcome back to channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can create horizontal scrollable gallery in Power Apps. By default, we do not have this functionality. Let's just talk about how we can create this. I'm into my Power Apps with this uh, blank screen. I'll go in insert, add a container that is a horizontal container. I will set the width of this horizontal container as parent dot width and uh, I will set the height of this container as parent dot height x position 0 y position 0 and it is fit into my screen now inside this container I'm going to insert one main container and I will name this as main and this container I'm going to set width of this container as in 1600 which is greater than my the screen size and i will go in align in center set this to start turn off this flexible width as you can see when i turn this flexible width off it has actually expanded my main container beyond the screen size which is the 1600 right now in my horizontal container you can see there is a horizontal workflow which is hide i will turn this into scroll and you will see there is a scroll bar available that is horizontal scroll bar so now what we have to do is inside this main container we are going to insert one container where we will put the headers and one gallery where we'll be showing all the items so now inside this main container i will go and search for container and name this as header set the height of this container as 60 x positions will be parent dot x y positions will be parent dot y and width will be parent dot width that means the full width and now inside the main container I am going to insert a gallery that is a blank vertical gallery and uh, I will connect this to my SharePoint list that is this financial list once connected I'll go into width of this particular one and set the width as parent dot width again the X positions will be parent dot x and y positions will be header dot height so that it will start from here and in the height I'm going to set this one as a parent dot height So parent height I'm not set maybe so I will set this parent height first that is this one now you'll see that this one also has the height and then I will minus 60 because I have the header height already set up and it start after that so now you can see it is uh, aligned properly and now I'll go inside the gallery and I will try to add some text label here so I've inserted a text label for this particular one I will set the background color set the X position that's uh, to 0 and set the Y positions to 0 and width of this particular one I'm going to set like 400 and height will be around 50 so that's there and now if I go here what I will do now I'll copy this and paste it here so X positions will be label 10 which is our first label dot width and then plus 2 
for some gap and y positions will be label 10 dot y which is zero we set so as you can see it has created one set for this i will copy and paste this again and this time the x positions will be label 10 underscore 1 dot x and then plus label 10 dot width plus 2 we will create one more which is this one and this time I'm going to set the X position of this one as underscore two and then we are good so I will select multiple all three and set their width as label 10 dot width whatever we set into label 10 all will have same width so what I'm going to do now is just squeeze this little bit and we have a nice gallery and now inside the header I'm going to insert some text label so this particular one we will set the property of this one I'll set the background color first and then I will change the font color font size I will set 16 convert this into bold and uh, I'm going to set X position of this one as zero and Y position as zero so the X position I will set of this one as five because I need a little bit of space and and height I am going to set of this particular one is 260 so that it's fit and width for this one what I will do I will set width according to the label against it so like this label 10 width so I'll go in 11 and set width as label 10 dot width all right so it has clear width of this particular one I'm gonna copy and paste this one and uh, for this one I will set the X position so whatever the X position of against that label I will set the exact X position from now onward so I will set label 11 label 10 underscore 1 dot X as you can see and plus 5 dot x plus 5 to provide that gapping so you see it is giving me the exact same structure so i'll go here copy this and paste this and if i go to the x position of this one this time it has one i will change this to two and you will see it's working fine for us and same goes here for this one I will set the exposition change this 2 to 3 and you will see it has worked perfectly fine so what I did is I just mapped this label 11 with 10 this one with this one like this the exact same mapping so that we have width and you know the exposition exact same so we do not have any issue in scroll bar whenever we will scroll against that our header will move as well so now we have this one if i go here in my gallery now and go to the text property of this one if 
I go into text property first one I will set as title sorry for that and I'll copy title and paste this into heading second one what I'm gonna do is we'll check what else I have I have business unit so I will go copy business unit paste it here and in the third one I will go change the text to and this time set to currency copy this paste this inside currency and fourth one I will set as this item dot I am going to set like April month data and then in the text April like amount and we are good to go I will save this and I will showcase you now that my horizontal scroll bar is working fine but there is something which is missing as of now if I go here in my gallery I'll go to width this has been set to fix so I will set this parent dot width that means it will take our this main container width which I've set to 1600 so if I run this now you will see it's working perfectly fine our header is moving according to our need so that way you can create your horizontal scrollable gallery in your power app so you can keep on adding column and in case you want to change the width you can directly change it from here from this main container and everything will be changed according to your requirement and in case you want to uh, you know uh, change the width of your these fields so let's suppose I set this to 500 you will see automatically the header part changed to 500 as well and now you see this is how it's looking perfect and if I have to increase the width of this main one I can set this to 2000 and it will work perfectly fine the way I want it with the increased size so that way you can create a flexible control by setting their you know correspondent height and width in a relatable manner and it will help you to build a solution that is reusable as well so i hope you like this video if you do like don't forget to subscribe learn and tech thank you so much for watching